This is a tutorial to build a shotgun grow box for fruiting mushrooms. The system is completely upgradable to a Martha grow tent. This makes it very cheap and convenient. This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 3.4. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. Let us start with the specification for this project. This is the specification that guided me during designing the system. I will address the different important topics during the rest of the presentation. Let's start to install the system. These are the needed components. One does not need much for this project. Easy entry into mushrooming is the goal. This power supply will power the system. If you go for this cheap 60 watt component, you will be able to use it for your Martha afterwards. This is how you will need to wire your parts. An ordinary 0.5 mm square cable will work fine. Cable sleeves can be used. This a connector with a screw terminal. You will use it to connect your wires to the power supply. As you will need more power lines you will use this WAGO terminal to multiply you 12V power lines. You might need some extra terminals, to easily connect your humidifier and fan to your system. You could also solder them together. The two step down modules are needed. The first one is used to go down to 5 volt to power the humidifier. The second one is used to change the speed of the fan. The fan works with 12 volt. When you reduce the voltage, it runs slower. That way you reduce the fresh air supply. This is a complete waterproof fan. I would also run under the water as it is classified with IP68. You could also use a cheap one. But that might not last so long. This one can be used in a Martha later on. The humidity controller is powered via 12V. One could also use it to control the temperate. This is not needed. This is an ordinary USB humidifier. It runs with 5V and has a big reservoir of 1 liter. That was the main reason I chose it. Any 5V USB humidifier could be used. As the humidifier only work when a button is pushed, this button needs to be bridged. Otherwise, it would not work together with a controller. The boards inside the controller might look different. This one is a big one as it has extra LEDs. Now you must solder. Otherwise, the humidifier will only start after you pushed the start button. Our control system needs to start the humidifier. Bridge the button. Control turns power on slash off. This is a cheap separately bought controller. I used it in my Martha. It can also be used inside the above shown humidifier, as the sonic disc has the same size. This is the simplest soldering application I can imagine. Can be performed by anyone. Auto stop after 4 hours stays intact. If you run out of water, system will shut down. To go from your USB connection to the controller we will use a little connector. You can use DuPont connection. For that you will need a crimping tool. I would advise you to solder the cable directly onto the connector. That is not difficult. You would solder your cable to GND, ground equals black, and VBUS, 5 volt equals red. As a box I chose a plastic raised bed. This one has 70 L. It was the cheapest volume I could find. As it is raised the ergonomics of this solution is a nice extra. Put all the electronics in a box. This box can be mounted on the side. For this you could use a rope and a hook. The sensor cable and the wire for the humidifier and the fan can. Be introduced. Via the hand. Grips. The positioning is not fixed. You will need to experiment to find out what works. I would position the humidifier and the sensor one side. I would mount the fan above. If you use a box, you can cut a hole into a side and glue to fan on the side. This is how the solution would look like. Experiment around to find the best solution for you. Video of the Grow Box
Next, how to upgrade your box. This is my standard Martha controller. It works really good. As you can see, you have already many of the needed parts. You can easily upgrade from your box to a Martha. What is missing is the time control for some lights. And of course, the Martha tent. The time controller is not expensive. I use it to power the LED lights on and off. A Martha is a mini greenhouse. You can buy it online. I use one with five floors. Now the bill of materials. LED adapter power supply DC 12 volt with 5 ampere. Male DC power plug adapter for your power supply. Wago terminal series splicing connector 2212415. TZTLM2596, voltage adjustable step down power module. The Sneo fan is the heart of the ventilation system. It is the only fan that is suited. There is no way around it. Luckily it is cheap and easily sourced. XHM452 temperature humidity controller module thermometer hygrometer. Humidifier for 5 volt system and a big reservoir of 1 liter. There are several kits you can buy. They are all the same. Dirt cheap. I had never one broken down. They work great. Regular decalcification is of course required. USB female to 5 pin dip adapter 2,54 mm breadboard module for Arduino. Raised bed out of plastic and 70 liters volume. That was my lecture. Did you build it? Please share your solution. This chapter was long overdue. It was created as a speed run, since I got a question about an easy solution, and I already wanted to realize this video. I guess the next video will also be triggered by a question. Thank you, for spending your time with me. Auf Wiedersehen.